Welcome back to Devices Startup channel again and today we will learn how to set up and install Netgear EX2800 Wi-Fi range extender plus other useful information related to it like where to plug it after the setup, how to log in into it after the setup and how to reset it in case it's not working properly and most importantly how to save yourself from getting scammed by fake Netgear technicians. Yes, you heard that right. So let's start the video. First and foremost, make sure your router is working properly and is broadcasting its Wi-Fi. Now plug the extender in the same room as your router and wait for extender's power LED to get stable. Now we can set up this extender via Netgear installation assistant or browser and via WPS method. So let's learn the browser setup first. So grab your Wi-Fi enabled computer or cell phone and go to its Wi-Fi list. There you will see Netgear underscore EXT network name showing up. Connect to that network. Once connected, open a browser and in the URL or address bar type myWiFiEXT.net and hit enter. This will bring Netgear EX2800 new extender setup page. If not, then try myWiFiEXT.local or type 192.168.1.250 into the address bar to access the setup page. Also, be very sure to type this only into the URL or address bar because if you type it into the search bar then you might land up on third party websites and when you call them or chat with them they will scam you for hundreds of dollars by saying your device is faulty and needs a fix for which you need to pay we have made a complete video on this netgear scam do watch it too plus share it with your friends and family members who owns netgear extenders the link is in the description Anyways, on the setup page, you will first need to create an account and then follow the on-screen instructions. Next, you will need to select your router's network name that you want to extend and type its password for confirmation and hit save settings. Once the setup is complete, you will be able to see the newly set up extender's network name in your Wi-Fi list. It will come up as your home network name underscore ext at the end and by default the password will be same as your router's Wi-Fi password. In case myWiFiEXT.net is not working then we have made a video on how to resolve this issue. The link is in the description. Now let's learn the second method to set up the extender that is via WPS. So in this method make sure both your extender and routers are plugged in in the same room now first press the WPS button on the extender. You will see a blinking WPS LED on it. Now within 2 minutes press a WPS button on the router. A solid WPS LED will confirm a successful WPS connection. Again you will be able to see the newly set up extender network name in your Wi-Fi list. It will come up as your home network name underscore EXT at the end. And by default, the password will be same as your router's Wi-Fi password. In case the WPS setup isn't working, then it is very likely possible that the WPS is disabled on the router. You can enable it again with just 2-3 to three steps. For this, you will have to log in into your router first and then enable the WPS from there. Check out our videos on these topics too. The link is provided in the description. Moreover. In case your extender is not working or not setting up or even not showing up in the Wi-Fi list then we recommend you to reset the extender first. You can do that by holding a paper clip inside the reset hole for around 10 seconds while the extender is still plugged into the wall. Now try the above mentioned setup steps again. If you found this video useful and you want to appreciate my efforts and research then do kindly hit like and subscribe button. It will be a great help. Plus, 
we keep on bringing videos related to routers, Alexa, printers, Roku and other home devices too. So if you subscribe to the channel, you might learn a tip or trick from our other videos. So see you in the next video. Till then, have a wonderful day.